guys and welcome back. It's Shauna O'Kelly, aka a little bit of sunshine, hoping to brighten up your day no matter what the weather. And today I'm here with a bit of an unusual video, as you can probably tell by the like the title. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be trying a dragon fruit. Now I've never had a dragon fruit before, but like I've seen other people eat them obviously over the years. They're pretty hard to get in Ireland. And when I say they're pretty hard to get in Ireland, yeah, you can get them in some shops, but they're a little bit on the expensive side. Like, I paid three fifty dollars for this little piece of fruit. And that's just, like, I can't justify that in my head because at the exact same time, I bought a punnet of pears for one euro. So, like, do that math. Like, just if anybody from America or anything is watching, three fifty dollars would be the equivalent of maybe over $5. So, that, like, you don't want to be spending that on one piece of fruit, especially, like, it's not like a huge fruit, like a watermelon or like any kind of melon or a pineapple or something like that. Like a pineapple was a euro, but this is 350. Anyway, I'm still eager to try it because I've never ever had one before. Um, although after reading about how to like cut open and everything else, I have learned that it tastes like a kiwi. And um, fun fact, I hate kiwis. Um, I don't hate many fruits, but I certainly hate kiwis. And it's not even to do with like, the taste or anything like that, the smell, like, <laughs> shall I explain my traumatic experience as a child with a kiwi? Basically, when I was in my first primary school, not the way every school has a really weird kid, and you know, you'd say to yourself, I was a really weird kid, but not the way there's always that even weirder kid. <laughs> um, I was the weird kid, but there was a weirder kid. And I mean, she would have like cold chips grounded in vinegar for our lunch, and a kiwi and like other little bits like fish and herring and things like that for our lunch. Uh, you you think I would have pointed that out faster than the kiwi and the chips, but like the chips and all just used to stink like at lunchtime. And the kiwi, I didn't like the smell of kiwis, and she used to like play on that and chase me around the yard with her kiwi every single day. So when I grew up, I just hated kiwis. So that's basically why I don't eat kiwi. So I've heard that dragon fruits kind of taste like chia seeds put into a kiwi. So I'm a little bit nervous because I haven't eaten a kiwi in like a long time. Let's put it that way. It could be 20, nearly 20 years since I've eaten a kiwi. Maybe that should be my next video. Should I do it? <laughs> Irish girl eats kiwi for the first time in 20 years. That'd be an interesting one. Um, I would probably cry. Anyway, I'm gonna get this open and get on with the video. It would have been smart to get a spoon, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, it looks, it looks really cool. Like, it definitely doesn't look like an apple. Um, so, like, on appearance, it looks really, really cool. It, it looks like an alien. That's what comes to my mind. Like, this is like an alien fruit to me. I'm sorry if you eat but, uh, dragon fruits every day, by the way. Um, it's just really alien to me. Really, really long spoon acquired. Um, so let's try this. Oh. Okay, it it kind it doesn't really smell like a kiwi. Kind of does at the same time. It doesn't smell as strong as a kiwi, but it does have that like um, I don't know. Do you know the way kiwis have that smell that kind of stings your nose? It faintly has that smell. <laughs> Maybe a kiwi's just sting my nose, but um, oh god, why did I agree to do this? Why do I agree to do these things? <laughs> okay, um, no, I expected at all. Um, pretty bland to be honest. I'm actually a little bit disappointed in the blandness. Is in just very, very, very little flavour to it. It's very juicy, which is really nice. Like, I don't know if you, that would show on the camera, but the water that's like coming up out of it. Like, it is a juicy fruit, but um, not much flavour to it. I wouldn't say it tastes like a kiwi. Um, a little bit more like melon, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, but less flavoured than a melon again. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm a 
fish yolk. I'm like, I expected it to be so full of flavor, especially when something costs 350. You expect it to be like a life changing experience. It wasn't, well, it kind of was, I guess. I guess it teaches you that, you know, paying more money doesn't always mean more flavor. Um, there better be some health benefits to these dragon fruits. Cause I'm gonna have another spoonful. Yeah. Like, if they were cheaper, I would eat it again. But I don't think I'd pay 350 for one again. That's the sad reality. So if anybody knows anywhere in Dublin or Ireland that this is slightly cheaper, let me know. Because as I said, I would eat it, but... Not a 350, but yeah. Just to show you like what it looks like on the inside even more. It kind of looks like frog spawn. <sighs> Don't ask the vegan why she thinks it looks like frog spawn, but okay. And that's this video. Um, would you like to see more videos like this? Like originally when I started up this channel, I did have the idea of um going into Asian supermarkets and like Lithuanian supermarkets and Eastern European. Lithuania is in Eastern European, so I don't know why I didn't just say Eastern European supermarkets. Um, and other supermarkets as well, like American sweet shops. And doing like a lot of taste tests from foods around the world that were unusual. Just because I like to find foods that are different and I just think they're interesting to watch as well. So yeah, that was me and the dragon fruit. <laughs> Uh, as I say, if you like this video, let me know down in the comments so I can do more like this because it's good to know these things and now I've saved you 350. <laughs> and no, I do say try it, but like maybe try it with a friend, you know, split that cost. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you all soon. Uh, if you want a fruit that's cheaper and nicer, I suggest trying a pomegranate, but that's just me. But thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.